it is Tuesday and the boys and I are headed to Wolf Lodge Ski Resort for some snow tubing with the cousins. Thanks to Dean's mom, who we call Mumum. Um, she is taking, sorry for the weird lighting because I'm in the car, going around the lake and the mountains are like in and out and the sun is like shining in my face. Anyway, um, she periodically takes um, all of the grandkids or most of the grandkids um, to different places and today, kind of short notice, we were all like, hey, we're going snow tubing. So that's what we're doing. Um, we typically go snow tubing every single year and we go to a different snow tubing place in North Carolina called Jonas Ridge snow tubing and that's a lot of fun. We are actually going to do that next month um, with our youth group at church but this is another place in North Carolina. I think it's Mars Hill, North Carolina um, and we've never been there before so I'm excited to see what it's like um, to see if it's bigger, smaller, just a little bit different, I guess, than the one we normally go to. So anyway, it's about an hour, almost an hour and a half from where we live. Um, and I think we have a two hours of tubing. Um, so I think we're gonna tube from four to six tonight and then we're gonna go out to eat somewhere together. I just had to think if I brought my masks for just a second <laughs> and I did, I brought my purse. I'm really bad, like I need to just leave them in the car. Anyway, that's something totally off topic um but anyway so we are going to keep heading that direction and I will share a bit of the snow tubing resort with you guys and um see what we think so see you guys when we get there bye Go get your tube, silly kid. Now be careful, you'll slide and fall. It is icy, so you have to be careful. Oh. So this is quite different from the other snow tubing place that we've been to before. The place that we've been to before, Jonas Ridge, has lanes. So four or five people can go at the same time, but there are like snow barriers, so you can't cross over and hit each other. I know, I'm sorry. This place doesn't have that. <laughs> and um, the boys are only getting like maybe 10 or 15 feet down from this little slope, from this little like ledge here. Um, because the snow isn't smooth, it's like really pitted and bumpy. I guess you can see that so they don't look very impressed <laughs> but it's okay we're gonna have a good time life is good Yay. make sure my mom knows you have enjoyed what you're doing so far and you're really grateful that she spent her money to bring you here <laughs> come on Zay I'm oh. go get my tube. why did you not bring it Anyway, so um, my sister-in-law is here and we're waiting on my mom and we're waiting on another sister-in-law and then there will be more people here. Um, just our family. Did it stop? Did you yeah. pu push start? Push the green start button. Okay. Go tell her that it stopped. Um, Uriah, go get your tube, babe. So. so I am sitting in the car while the boys are snow tubing. Um, I saw my sister-in-law drive past twice. Actually. My GPS took me up to the ski resort and the lodge, like the cabin rentals and all that stuff. And so I'm assuming that she's followed her GPS and that's also where she's gone. And as she drove back by, she probably missed it again because it's just, it looks like a really off the road place. There's one of my sisters in law. I'm trying to wave to him now. Anyway, um, yeah, so I rushed out of the car quickly to go and get, I'm sorry, I rushed out of the house quickly to get the, with the, getting the boys and all their stuff and I forgot to grab my coat, my gloves, and my hat. So I am sitting in the car with the heat on and videoing and watching the boys from my car because there is no lodge here where you can sit inside in the warmth and watch 
them snow tube like there is at the other snow tubing place. Anyway, we are going to make the most of it because my mom paid for this and this is going to be fun for them. Okay, quick update. Um, <laughs> so today has been a fairly warm day for January and so they said that the reason the kids are not sliding far enough or as far as they could is because the snow's kind of a little mushy where it's been warm, but as the temperature drops um, here in the next 30 minutes to an hour, um, they should start sliding further. But we have left some of the little kids here to do the snow tubing and my mom has taken the older kids up to the ski resort and they're gonna go skiing. So my older three are now going skiing and I just have Ezra here with some of his younger cousins. They're having a good time. They're like rolling and just sliding on their bottoms down the hill. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll probably just stay here for 45 minutes to an hour, I guess. I don't know that we'll even stay until our time is up. And then we'll pack all of the kids that are here in the car. We'll drive up to the ski lodge. Um, and then maybe I can get some footage of the boys skiing. My kids have never gone skiing before. Um, so I don't really know how they'll do. My sister-in-law is going to try to help teach them. I don't know if they have ski lessons tonight. It's youth night, so they may have an instructor there who's teaching um, the kids how to ski. And I'm assuming they'll stay on the bunny slopes for most of the time. But anyway, I'm gonna get out and get some footage of the kids playing on this little snow hill. <laughs> and then hopefully I can get some footage of them, uh, the bigger boys skiing, so we'll see. I think Ezra and Eliza are going to go together. <laughs> oh, Ezra's got his kid in the tube. I'm sure that's not a good idea. Oh, yeah, they are going much further now. Before they were stopping, like, right there. <laughs> So this is definitely getting better now that it's getting cooler. And the little kids are really enjoying it. They're not, they don't feel like they're missing out on anything. <laughs> but all the bigger kids were like, uh, thanks mom mom. <laughs> so hopefully they have a really good time skiing. Eliza, are you and Ezra having a good time? Yeah. Is it fun? You guys are going pretty far now. Ezra, you're going farther down the hill now. Odd. <laughs> oh, no, Welcome to the world of boys. Uh-oh. Ezra, what do you think? Are you having fun? Yeah? You're doing a great job doing everything all by yourself. Mm-hmm. Are you staying warm? Ezra, are you staying warm? How are you doing without your gloves? He forgot his gloves and so did Isaiah. And Isaiah's gone skiing and so I'm a little concerned about him not having gloves because He's gonna fall a lot more. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We're about to run empty over. <laughs> Oh, 
Ezra, what are you eating? Hello. <laughs> you must, it must be good because you're licking your fingers. What are you eating? Cheese. Cheeseburger and fries and some apple juice. Mm. I knew I had fries. You didn't have fries. We had reservations at a restaurant, but when the older kids came up to the ski resort to ski, they had a ski lesson and it was late. So we had to cancel our reservations at the restaurant and we decided to eat here at the little, I don't know what you call it, it's kind of like a little cafe, but we got here just in time for burgers and fries. Hi. And juice, apple juice. Mm -hmm. Uriah's trying to walk in his skis. He's probably getting them crossed. <laughs> He's going backward. Oh. He's right. I don't know if you can see right there. That's him. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys can see, but Judith's cousins are helping him down the slope because this is his first time coming down the slope. And let me see if I can point to where they are. They're coming down really slowly, all three of them together. And Greg is holding Judah's hand right here. Here they come. Oh, they're doing good. He had some trouble. I saw him. He kept falling up in the middle of the hill. Oh, he did it. Good job. So everybody is really tired and thirsty. We're here getting gas and the gas station is closed so we can't get a drink. So we're going to stop somewhere to get a drink. What did you guys think of skiing? Amazing. You didn't even let me on the I was the only one, one on the... I didn't I, let you I, ride on the big... and Judah were the only ones on the slope. Except for Judah crashed. You could feel like he twisted his knee. You told me you crashed too though. I crashed but I didn't stop. I was just like... Well he didn't stop. He came all the way down. Yeah he came all the way down and then he stopped. Oh, he actually went back. He actually went back out and skied. <laughs> he was like, no, I'm done. I oh, was tired. I know. I know. He but did I actually just, twist his I knee a little bit, but he's zoom. okay. I think you'll be okay. Um, so everybody had a good time. Ezra is really bummed he didn't get to ski, so he wants to go back and ski. And Isaiah wants to go for his birthday outing, um, which is at the end of February. So we may do it again. Wait. So actually, I do want to say... If you happen to come to the Wolf Lodge snow tubing, don't judge it. I guess don't judge the ski lodge by the snow tubing place because we were all kind of like, mm, with the snow tubing at first because Jonas Ridge, which is where we normally go in North Carolina, is way better, I think, than this snow tubing place. But the ski lodge was really nice. Like the lodge was huge and roomy. They had hot, like a hot food bar and a grill where you could order food. Um, and a ski lift, which I really liked. Yeah, all of the all of the ski resorts have ski lifts to get you up the mountain. Anyway, um, yeah, so it, it ended up not being exactly what we expected. We weren't expecting to go skiing, but it ended up being really good. Everybody had a great time. Um, my mom was happy that all of her grandkids were happy. Yeah, it was good. So anyway, we are going to finish filling up with gas, find somewhere to stop and get a drink because we are all dying of thirst. And then we're going to head home. Um, and call it a night. It's going to be late by the time we get home. Thank goodness. This is, well, this is actually our last week um, of winter break. So we start school next week. Is it done? It's done. Gotta go. Bye, guys.